Welcome back for our next installment of 2015 Subaru WRX First Impressions. Today, Jason, our resident Subaru expert, is going to run over the wheel bearings, the suspension, and the brakes. We removed the uh, front rotor and brake caliper from the uh, 2015 WRX just to see what was different or what was the same, what was beefier. Um, the uh, brake rotor is a big 12 inch brake rotor, as you see in my hand right here. It's uh, very heavy, very beefy. So, guys that do track days shouldn't really have any problems with these unless they're running a lot of horsepower and very sticky tires. Uh, the brake calipers are a two piston sliding caliper, just like the older Legacy GTs. The uh, brake pads are about the same. Uh, what's interesting is it looks like the wheel bearings have been upgraded. Uh, they're a lot bigger and wider than years past. And you can definitely see the 5x114 hub here. The hub surface is a lot beefier and thicker than I would I would remember it. Also, you see up here, this is a camber bolt that most Subarus have, especially WRXs. And it looks like you can definitely add a lot more negative camber, probably about another degree or so of negative camber for added handling and turn in and overall grip in the corners. We've also removed the uh, rear brake rotors and caliper and you can see the uh, what the e-brake looks like in the hub as well. Uh, for the rear suspension it's very similar to the uh, BRZ with the uh, design of the control arms and the uh, positioning of the uh, trailing links and whatnot and the size of the rear subframe bushings. Uh, so it's not the same as the previous year with the rear suspension, but the, the geometry and the overall design is similar, but it's not the same. Also, you see the uh, parking brake and the rear rotors are an 11 inch rear rotor. Uh, ironically, they're not, they're not vented rotors, they're solid rotors. It's funny that the BRZ has vented rear rotors, but the WRX does not. Um, this little removable rubber, rubber grommet here is to adjust the parking brake. You remove the wheel, you remove this, and there's a small wheel underneath here that you use to adjust the uh, tightness of the parking brake. Um, again, in the back, looks like these wheel bearings are quite large. Looks like they carried over the STI bearings as well as the 5x114 hub pattern.